the Mulan remake, the live action remake by Disney that they want you to pay $30 for on their fucking Disney Plus service. This movie sucked. This movie was garbage. I have no idea what the hell they were thinking. And it's just on so many different levels, this was just ultimately disrespectful to the original animated version. It's disrespectful to anyone who's Asian. It's disrespectful to anyone who's a fan of Disney or Disney Renaissance era films. It's just bad. It's really bad. Um, so there's a lot that went wrong with this movie. First of all, they took out things that were in the animated version uh, to try and make it more um, accurate to the legend of Mulan and make it more, I guess, of a historical piece. But see, doing that doesn't make any sense because Disney's name is attached to this. People associate more so with the Disney version of Mulan more so than any other version of uh, of the character. So when you take things out like Mushu, when you take characters out like that and then you remove characters that were in the original animated film and then you replace them with these uh, some of these new uh, characters like the sorceress who's in this movie who is just very boring and bland, and then you have the new soldiers or whatever that uh, Mulan goes into training with, and the actors are, are awful. It looks like they're, they're just, they don't know how to read their lines properly. You have that, that one fat actor or whatever who, who just look cross-eyed throughout the entire movie, like, duh, 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 I don't know how to read my lines, I don't know how to emote, I don't know how to bring my character into life in a way that feels organic. You know, when you, when you, when you do that, you kind of tend to piss off your audience, along with the fact that they want you to pay $30 for this crap on their uh, stupid Disney Plus service. And then something ridiculous that I read is that they had an interview of thousands of candidates to play the title role of Mulan. And so they went with this uh, actress who's in her 30s, Lee, Lee Fei or whatever her name is. I don't, I don't really care. She, yeah, she was the worst thing in this. There wasn't a single point in this movie where I believed that she passed off as a man. It's like, how stupid are these male characters to even remotely think that uh, that this chick is a man? There's no way that she pulled off that disguise. And then they ruin scenes from the original film by having uh, elements that just don't really make any sense. They turn uh, Mulan into a, a Mary Sue She's just a character who was always powerful and she was all, always proficient at, uh, at being a fighter. And she doesn't, uh, she doesn't have that growth as a character that the original animated version does. In the original animated Mulan, you know, there was a, a sense of progression. There was a sense of growth. And uh, that's completely missing in this movie. You're, the only sense of growth in this movie is Mulan being able to carry two buckets of water up a, a flight of stairs to some uh, statue or some shit. And it's like, really? The scene where Mulan causes the avalanche, uh, that was done better in the original version as well. Because she used like a, a rocket, a propelled rocket or whatever, um, which sent uh, Mushu into the cliff, and that's what caused the avalanche in the original version. In this version, Mulan p places her hand on the ground and releases some chi or some shit, like she's using the fucking force and the avalanche just starts and everyone was bland in this, even Jet Li. And it's like Jet Li is not known for being a great actor. He's known for being uh, a great martial artist. He's known for being a great action star. So to make him the emperor, it's like I understand Jet Li's old, but it's like you, you guys couldn't have done anything, given him anything else to do in this. It, it's just it's silly. This entire movie was silly. Disney, when they started off with these uh, live action remakes, you know, I had some hope that they were going to take some of these classic Disney Renaissance era movies and actually do something with them that that one, you know, provides some some new elements that weren't in the original, but at the same time, ultimately uh, pays homage uh, to the original. And uh, people have just lost more interest in these uh, live action remakes um, over time. And they have no signs of slowing down. Um, I read somewhere that they're going to try and do a live action version of uh, The Hunter Back of Notre Dame, which that that's the one that's really going to piss me off because um, because behind the Incredibles and Mulan, 
uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. That's one of my favorite Disney uh, Renaissance era films. And um, it's just after seeing uh, the, Li the Lion King, which uh, removed all the emotion from the animated characters because they tried to make everything all realistic. And so you just had a bunch of lifeless uh, CGI lions on the screen, not emoting, which is very uncanny and weird to to this, which is just it removes everything that was great about the character of Mulan and all the the interesting and fun characters that were in the original animated version. You know, af after some of these uh, recent live action remakes, I don't need any more of these. And then on top of that, they're going to try and monetize the hell out of this on Disney Plus thirty dollars to see a goddamn movie, which is never worth it. Most people, they watch movies once and that's it. You know, if I rewatch a movie, it has to be something along the lines of like a David Fincher movie or a Martin Scorsese film. You know, something that can be analyzed over and over again. A movie like this can't, can't be analyzed at all. It's just, it's bullshit all the way through. They ruined the character of Mulan. They took out elements um, from the original movie that, uh, that actually made the movie fun. And um, yeah, this is just disrespectful, like I said to the property, to the fans, to um, Asian people. It, it's absolutely ridiculous. Fuck this movie. Fuck Disney. This is garbage. Plain and simple. End of story. Sacrifices. My father cannot fight. 